How's it going guys? And we are back with another episode in Skyrim Anniversary Edition content. This is going to be all of the new full armor sets that were added to Anniversary and I'm going to be judging this by the armor rating from lowest to highest and every individual set, there are 27, is in the description below. So we have a lot to get through here. So first off and lowest on the totem pole is the Dwarven Male. This is actually worse than leather armor for whatever reason unfortunately because it looks cooler than leather armor in my opinion and to get this we're just headed over to Yervested and it's just outside of Yervested uh, right by the bridge just up this hill right here just come up here and there's a little camp and then on this body there will be a note read that note and then it's just gonna tell you to go to an area not too far from here right over here and there's gonna be this guy ah! simple and this is what she looks like this one doesn't have any enchantments unfortunately but after you complete the quest, you'll be able to smith this in the Dwarven category. Okay, next on the list is the alternative iron set. And this is actually one of the few sets you can just smith. All you have to do is smith it. You already know how, no quest involved. And it is the better iron armor than the base game iron armor, that's for sure. Okay. Looks like a knight out of the real medieval ages. Okay, next up is alternative leather armor. This is the leather scout armor. So, not too bad. For this one, you're going to want to come over here to Cliffside Retreat. And there's just this little shack. And just read these two. Journal and note. And you will start the quest double edged, and then you just have to come over here to this cave just kind of near uh, Solitude, between Markarth and Solitude, Lost Echo Cave. Come on inside, make out your way all the way through, and there'll be this mage. Ah! Gotcha! And then just on this chick's body, there will be this. Bows do 25% more damage on the head. Increase light armor on the chest piece. Pickpocket, 25% better. And increase your stamina. And then once you do that, you complete the quest. And you can smith this at the smith as well. The forge. Okay, next up is Alternative Armors. This is the Elven Hunter set. And to get this guy started, we're coming over here to Falkreath. And there's just the guards' barracks over here. And then just come over to this table and read this journal and these notes. And you'll start the quest once a hunter. And then we're just coming over here between uh, Falkreath and Markarth. And there's just this guy we gotta kill. Take a key from him. I've been interrupted by the Thalmer pigs! Ah! I'm gonna kill you and all your friends! I'm Talos. Bitch. Okay. Grab this journal if you care, but I don't really care to read it. I already have the key come over to this chest and inside the chest we will get the new armor set elven hunter and again you can submit this once you grabbed it and the quest completes looks pretty nice 
Okay, next up we have the Steel Soldier Armor Set. This is a really nice steel looking set. Might be my favorite steel set. For this guy, we're just coming over here to Dragon Bridge. And we're just coming inside the bar. From over here, there is a note on the table. On the bar, I should say, I guess. And then it's going to send you over here to search for a body at the river. Grab that note, read it, and then we're headed back to Dragon Bridge. Into the bar one final time for one final letter. And then on the actual Dragon Bridge, we face off against the Steel Soldier. Boom. Okay, so the chest piece increases magic resistance by 15%. The helmet increases fire resistance by 40%. Gauntlets block 25% more damage with shields, and the boost stamina regenerates 20% faster. I like the cape. Not gonna lie. Just another very beautiful set. I'd say this is one of the more aesthetically pleasing sets, in my opinion. Really suits the lore. Okay, next up we have the Red Guard Elite Armaments. And this is a suit of light armor. Looks super awesome. Comes with weapons also on this little one. So to get this one started, we're coming over here to Shores Stone, a little town just a little bit north of Riften. And there's going to be this guy with his arms up. You just got to beat him in a fight or persuade him that you are superior. Thank you. Which I am. This is for you. And then he'll give you a little note. He'll start the quest, read the note, which says nothing, and then go to a city and just wait for whatever few hours a day till a courier comes. And then he's going to give you a letter, read it, and it will send you to a cave. Pure water run over here. And once you come inside, I'm not going to be holding your hand through the whole quest, guys. I actually have a video on this if you haven't seen it already. But long story short, you just come in here. He's going to send you back and forth to like a place or two. And then he's going to give you a key for this chest right here. Yes. And once you get into this chest, you have the armor set, a couple weapons. Chest piece increases your light armor skill. Uh, head increases illusion, new shield, unenchanted, boots sneaking is better, hands, uh, one-handed attacks do more, and then two of these swords. So, definitely a nice, cool new armor. Okay, so next up we have the Dwarven Plate Armor. And this actually is just a two-piece set. There's no helmet and gauntlets. But to get it started, we're coming over here to Markar. And we're just heading inside the bar right at the very entrance of the city, the Silver Blood Inn. Come over here. Yes. There's a note right here. Read that, and you will start the quest. Mightier than the sword. Okay, so we're just coming right over here just outside the front of Markarth by a good little walk and there's this Dwemer Tower all you have to do is come inside kill the few enemies and the two pieces are just right here the plate boots and the plate chest piece it's too bad there's no gauntlets and helmet for this because it really is a very beautiful set. This is my favorite looking dwarven set in the game. Yeah, it looks just stunning. Gold and shining. Like my soul. Okay, and after this we have Netch Leather. Yes, Netch Leather armor is actually better than all of these previous armor sets if you can believe that. I know crazy so for this one we're coming over here just north of the skull village on the island of Solstheim, and there's going to be a tent with a dead art uh 
dead arc elf, dead dark elf, right here. He's gonna have this journal, take it, read it, and you will start the quest more than you can chew. Okay, so now we just have to go and meet a Reichling leader on this little island over here. What's up, buddy? I'm friends with your cousin. I understand you're in need of leather. La la la. Okay. So he's going to give you this little drawing. Read that. And it's telling you to go hunt Netch with the Reichlings over here near Telmithrin. And now you can get Netch leather from all these things on, Stol on Solstheim. Now we go back and talk to the leader again. And after you talk to him, he will give you the first set of Netch leather. Which is the painted Netch leather armor. And then if you take that book, then you complete the quest. And once you read that book, you can actually craft the Netch leather. So this is the first set, the painted set. And then once you read the book, like I said, now we can smith them. But in order to actually smith them, you need to take the Netch leather to a tanning rack, make a bunch. And then we can make the boiled set, the standard set, and the black set. There's also an alternate helmet and two shields. I think the black set looks the best. But I'm not a fan of either of the helmets. It's more like dark blue. But there it is. Okay, next up we have the orcish scaled armor. I believe this is a light armor set in the Orcish category. And to get this one, we're just coming over here to Riften, to Mistvale Keep. Imperials think we need their laws. And just to the left of the main doors in the keep, we're coming into the guard barracks. Make your way upstairs. Again, he's here. And there will be this journal on one of the desks. Read that. You'll start the quest. Gambler's Edge. So we're just coming over here to this cave. And then once you're inside, just kill everybody, but we're just looking for one note on one body and that's all from here. And that's on this guy. You're gonna take this note, read it, and then it's just going to tell you to go back to Riften. And once we're actually here, we just have to go to the bar in the town square. And the set can be used, or sorry, acquired through intimidating or purchasing from this girl. Armor collector. Give me the armor, bitch. And this is some of the worst armor in the game, in my opinion, uh, aesthetically. It looks like I'm a girl ready to go to a rave, but, I mean, someone, this will be their favorite. And for that person, I'm happy for you, but not me. Anyways, next, we have the Vigil Enforcer armor sets. And there are three different sets in this one. There's the Silver, the Corrupted, and the Base one. To get this started, we're coming over here to Hall of the Vigilant, and... It will only be destroyed like this after level 10, uh, as far as I know. And we're just coming over here. There's a note on the table. Started Unholy Vigil. Search the Vigilant. Search for the Vigilant, sorry. And we're just coming over here into the bar. It's a curse. It has to be. I I've got to get out of this town. 
and there's a mysterious note right here on the dresser and it's just telling us to go to the ruins very close to Dawnstar right over here and we will get the first arm set laying on the ground. This is the Vigilant Veteran Armor. Looks good. I like this set a lot, honestly. It looks like if you were wearing it on survival, it would have some warmth to it because it's a little furry. So that's a plus. And then you're going to read the journal that you found on him. And then we have to go to Dawnstar again and spy on some people. Long story short, it's this guy. He goes into the mine at night. You just got to track him. There will be three it sends you to follow, but it's the bald guy. And then once he comes into the mine, you're just going to follow him until he opens this little secret chamber. And the other two armor sets are just in here. Fucking idiot walking into a door while it's lifting. This looks like Daedra worship. I'm from the Dawn Guard. Oh! Poor Talos! You never should have come here! Motherfuckers! Complete the quest, Unholy Vigil. Okay, and on one of them, they will have the Corrupted set. Just looks like, maybe like a slightly bloodstained version of the regular one. But then the Silver Armor, which has like this cool wolf helmet. The Silver one is my favorite one. They all have the same rating. And they are all unenchanted. And this is what the corrupted one looks like. And this is the silver one, my favorite. Should wear this doing the Companions Guild. Beautiful. Okay guys, next up there's a whole bunch of armors that were added uh, in Ghost of the Tribunal. So rather than divide the whole thing through the video, because there's a couple that are lower and a couple that are higher, I'm just going to give you the whole thing basically. So to get the quest started, you just have to come up into the temple on the island of Solstheim. Come down here, turn to your right, and there will be a note, or sorry, a journal. Right here, and you start the quest, Ghost of the Tribunal. I have a whole separate video on this, a guide through the whole thing. Long story short, you're going to get a couple armor pieces scattered throughout the whole thing, but there is this vault, and it has one of each armor, this unique headpiece. So right here, this is the Indorel armor set. And then the white version right here is the Her Hand armor set. And you'll also get three unique helmets, this being one of them right here. Mask of Alexia. And if you guys want to see that, like I said, I got a video on the channel and you can check that out. Next up, we have the Orcish Plate Armor. I think this is the coolest Orcish Armor now. So to get this one started, we're just coming over to White Run. And you just have to come right here into the first little guard building journal right here you can read. Started Smith and Slash. Now we're coming over here to Ember Shard Mine. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. You picked a bad time to talk back, bitch. Okay, and then come in here. There's going to be lots of people with the armor set, but only one of them will have the enchanted set. So keep that in mind. Let's go. You're a tough bitch, aren't you? Most people don't withstand that many hits from Talos. Okay, take that journal, read it, and then here is the chest piece. Block 25% more damage with shields, boots, carrying capacity increased, gauntlets, weapons and armor can be improved more. And the headpiece increases your heavy armor skill by 17 points. And this is the set. Looks really nice, in my opinion. Like I said, my favorite orcish armor. Beautiful. 
Okay, next on the list we have the silver armor set. So to get this one started, you just have to come into White Run into this bar right here, the Bannered Mayor, and on one of the tables in the corner you'll have this letter to read. Started when the cat's away. And now we're just headed into the dungeon on the right side of the White Run Castle. And then there's just a note in this corner. And now we're coming over here to retrieve the armor from the hut. A random little farmhouse. Some schemers scheming inside. And here there is a chest with the set. Unenchanted set. And then once you've picked up all the pieces, you complete the quest. And this is what it looks like. I think that silver helmet from the uh, vigil armor would go good with this. And that's that. Simple. Okay, next up guys, we have Saints and Seducers. I do have a video covering this whole thing in depth. If you want to see that, check the channel. But to get this started, you have to come to the outside of Whiterun. There will be the Khajiit Trader sitting on the ground here. I've heard you've been running from trouble on the road. And you will start the quest Balance of Power. And he will give you a note to read. Read that. And he will send you to locate Saints and Seducers Bandit Camps. This is the first one. This is a seducer camp. You can get each of the pieces off of the bandits. And then you will read this journal. Take the key from one of the guys. And then the chest piece will be in the chest. This set was not made for men. I will say that. The Dark Seducer set looks like it's made to cup boobs and mine aren't big enough. But maybe some people like it. And over here we have a Golden Saint Bandit Camp. For the Golden Saint set. You also get these two pet here. The spider things. And here is the Golden Saint Helmet, and again, all the pieces are on the bandits, and then the chest piece will be in the chest, and this is the Golden Saint set. One of the best sets in the game, in my opinion. And in order to craft those two sets, you just have to come over here to Half Moon Mill, and underneath the bridge, there will be a chest. And once you grab the contents of this chest, read it. Right here, this journal, you'll be able to smith them at a forge. Okay, and next we're coming over here to investigate the area north of Mistwatch. And this is to craft the Amber Set, which is better than the Dark Seducer and Golden Saint Set. It has a higher armor rating. Take this journal from her. Read it. And now you can craft the Amber Set. And also the Madness set, but we'll get to the Madness set later because that's the highest armor rated suit in the game. But this is the Amber set, you know, from Oblivion. Looks good. And next on the list we have the Divine Crusader set. Another returning set from Oblivion with also a remade version. The remade version doesn't have as high of an armor rating as the classic Crusader set. But to get this, you have to come over here to Four Skull Lookout, and there will be a couple couple bandits here, and two of them will have the set on them. Here's the reforged set. So. I like the classic one a lot more. Loved it in Oblivion, love it in Skyrim now.
The Reforged set looks good, but it ain't as good as this. Here's the shield. And here we go, 10% armor bonus, 10% redu uh, reduced damage from undead while wearing the matching set. Increase your health by 10 points, restoration spells cost less to cast. And the enchantments are the same on the Reforged set and the classic. So, Illusion spells cost 10% less to cast, restoration spells cost less to cast, prices are 8% better. Looks good. Gauntlets, restoration spells cost less to cast, increased disease resistance by 50%. And then the boots, restoration spells cost less to cast. Same old. And here's the suit I know and love from the good old days. So, yeah. Okay, guys, next on the list we have alternate dragon scale armor. And this is another version of the dragon scale armor that is light. So to get this one going, we're coming over here to Windhelm into the bar. And just right here on the table, you have to read this book. And you'll start the quest right here, titled Scales. And we're coming over here to your Grim Overlook, and all you have to do is unlock one chest. Simple as that. And she's right here. Okay. Studded Dragon Scale Armor. I believe you can get this right at the beginning of the game. So. Looks good. The helmet looks pretty similar to the original, but... I would say I like this one more than the original still. And next on the list, we have the Ebony Plate Armor. Another set of heavy ebony armor. My opinion, this is the best ebony armor in the game. And for this, the quest is called Heart of Crimson. You'll get a letter from someone, and then you just have to come over here, give alms to a beggar at the docks of Windhelm. Yes. Instead of alms, I will pay you. Okay, and now you just have to go and meet this person over here. Meet Tyra at the shrine of myself. Talos, of course. And... Kick her ass. Get the sat. Right here. Helmet increases heavy armor by 20 points. Two Talos. I'll never read that. Increase your health by 50 points. On the chest piece. One handed attacks do 30% more damage on the gauntlets. And then on the boots, stamina regenerates 30% faster. And once you take all the pieces, you complete the quest, Heart of Crimson, and you can smith this in the Ebony category at the Anvil or Forge. And this is what it looks like, just totally beautiful. It's a shame there's no light Ebony armor yet, but... Beggars can't be choosers. Please keep making Skyrim content, Todd. Just kidding. Next on the list, we have Alternative Daedric Mail. And this is the only light Daedric armor in the game. So we're coming back into the bar of Windhelm. There's a lot going on in Windhelm. And just ask this girl for any leads. She'll give you a letter after you exhaust the talking enough. And the quest will start missing merchant. Investigate uh, trader's post. And that's just over here near the shrine of Boethia. And there's going to be a whole bunch of people in here that you have to kill, but nothing too crazy. Wipe them all out. Ah! And then once you've killed everybody, this person will have a journal you need to read. And there is a unique ring on a body just beside her. Read the journal and then grab the ring of master. That's what it's called. 
And this ring has three effects. Solution spells cost 30% less to cast, increase stamina by 20 points, and sneaking is 20% better. So next we're coming over to the entrance, or sorry, just in front of Solitude to talk to this Khajiit trader, and you can either trade him the ring for the armor set, or you can buy it. I prefer to buy it because the ring is good and unique, so do whatever you prefer. We'll set you back 5,000. And he will give you the Daedric Mail set. Unenchanted, absolutely beautiful. And now you'll be able to smith it as long as you have the Daedric Smithing perk. Looks good. One of the nicest sets in the game for sure. And it's the same armor rating as the Ebony Plate, actually. Next up, we have the Lord's Mail. And this is actually just a one-piece thing. Like, it's only the chest piece, but... I thought it was good enough to certainly make this list, and it has a very high armor rating. It is higher than Daedric Plate and Ebony Mail, obviously. And to get this started, we just have to come into Solitude, just to where General Tullius' area is on the right. And in here, there will be a letter, or sorry, a journal, just on the table. No, letter. It is a letter. Oh, so many letters and journals. Thanks, Todd. Okay, and then we just have to come over here, confront the... Alikers mercenaries, I think that's how you say it. Some red guard pigs. Ah, you will never defeat Talos. And then grab the suit. And right now it's cursed, so don't put it on just yet. Grab it, and then we are headed back to Solitude to cleanse the mail. We have to cleanse all the male energy. Shrine of Kinnereth. Alright, cleanse the armor. Complete gift of Kinnereth and the suit is no longer cursed. So opponents in melee range take 5 points of health absorbed per second. Increase poison resistance 75% and magic resistance 17%. So all in all, this is probably one of the best chess pieces in the game. And it certainly looks better than its picture in Creation Club. Okay, next we have the Spell Knight armor sets, and there's actually three sets here, Iron, Steel, and Ebony. Rather than throwing Iron and Steel early in the video and being like, I'm going to show you how to get it later, I just thought I'd lump them all together because the Ebony armor rating is super good. So, to get this one started, we're headed back into the Silverblood Inn in Markarth, and this time we're coming into this room on the right. Read this journal. And then after that, we're just going over here to follow a ghost around. Lead me to your armor, you little fuck. And long story short, you're going to come up a hill. And there's going to be the iron and the steel set laying on two people who are dead on the ground. And right here, this is the iron. And this is the steel set. Long story short, the quest is going to lead you to a point where you have to fight this ghost. And then you can get the ebony armor set right here from his grave. So, this is the best ebony armor in the game. Actually, the highest armor rating. And you can smith all those three suits once you've completed the quest. Certainly looks beautiful. Okay, now, next on the list we have the Dragon Plate Armor Set. This is an alternative heavy dragon bone set, and to get it you have to come over here to Darklight Tower and then make your way all the way up it. And the quest is called Bones for a Crow. You'll get a letter, read it. And then here is Darklight Tower. Make your way up and up and up. There is a quest here. There's a girl right at the entrance. And she's going to ask you to help her kill her mom. She can become a good follower. She can also be a steward for your homes. And then long story short, this is the very top. Come on out. 
And here's her mom, the evil bitch. I mean, evil witch. Let's go! Stop running! Okay. And then just through here, there's this little camp. And we just gotta kill everybody and search the Hag Raven. You never should have come here. How did the Thalmer say it? Learn your place. Ha ha ha! Okay, read the note. Travel to Arkwind Point. So, that's just over here. And to get to this little quest marker, you have to come through this area. There's the ruin of Arkwind Point, and then you just have to go through here. Make your way up as high as you can go to the top of the tower. Couple enemies to fight, but nothing crazy. And the armor is all on this body just here. And the uh, chest piece increases fire resistance by 100%, which is insane. The boots, carry capacity increased by 40 points. The uh, helmet, health increased by 50 points. The hands, two-handed attacks do 20, uh, sorry, 30% more damage. And once you take all the pieces, the quest completes, and you can smith this if you have the dragon bone smithing perk. Yeah, so looks good. Looks like a little bit of a more beefier set than the original. Dragon Bone Armor. And then on par with the Dragon Plate Armor rating is the Stalrim Fur Armor. So another very heavy set. To get this one going, you just have to come to a little bit south of the Skull Village right here. There's going to be a camp. And there's a journal on this barrel right here. Read that. And then it's going to lead us over here to the far north of the island. Search the island for Stalrim. And on this little glacier. We have some walruses that need to be killed. And one guy to fight. Let's go. You are nothing. And the set is just sitting right here. Stallroom fur armor. All four pieces. Complete the quest. Ancient ice. And now you can smith those. And they're not enchanted, but it is certainly some very high armor ratings. This is my favorite Stallroom set for sure. The attention to detail is just very, very good. Okay, next up guys, we have the Civil War Champions, and this is the Imperial Dragon and Storm Bear Armor. This is some of the best armor in the entire game, and it's so easy to get. You can get this right at the beginning of the game. So to get this one, we just have to come to Whiterun, walk inside the Drunken Huntsman. There is a letter right here in the bar, and it's going to tell you to either... Go over here to Solitude, dressed as an Imperial, or come over here to Windhelm with five bear pelts. Whatever you prefer to side with the Imperials or the Stormcloaks. Me, I'm a Stormcloak boy all the way because I'm Talos and they serve me, so... I'll give them the bear pelts. And then you just talk to this guy. I want to fight as your champion. And he will give you the key to this chest, and just like that, we'll get the suit. The chest piece increases your health by 75 points, frost resistance by 50, time between shouts is reduced 20%. So that's crazy. Alright, and then he, this, the helmet, when wearing the full storm bear, grants increased armor rating. The shield, double damage from bashing, blocks 20% more damage with your shield, increased frost resistance by 10%. The boots, stamina regen is 10% faster, increase frost resistance by 20%, and the gauntlets, power attacks, 
cost 20% less stamina. And then there's a little map on where the fight's going down. Whoever we replace them with will need the support. And this is what she looks like, boys. Just a beautiful set. Okay, now we're coming over here to get the other set. Join the Stormcloaks. What's up, bitch? I'm walking out ahead. Yeah, let's get this on with. Let's get on with it, I should say. For the Emperor! Your Emperor is dead! And once you win the battle, collect the armor. And double damage from bashing. Increase fire resistance by 10%. Block 20% more damage with your shield. This is an absolutely beautiful shield. And then right here, increase fire resistance 30%. Shock resistance 30%. Frost resistance 30%. That's a good set. And here, when your health is low, you have a chance to get Ebony Flesh, which is insane. That's an insane armor effect. The boots, health regens 10% faster, increase fire resistance by 20%. And the hands increase melee damage by 10%. This is what she looks like, and yeah, just another absolutely beautiful set. Ebony with gold trim. Okay, guys, next up we have Daedric Plate. The second best armor in the whole game. So for this, we're just coming over here to Whiterun again. And we are coming in the main hall. Turn left, come down here. And then just right here, we have a journal to read. And you will start the quest beyond the grave. And we just have to come here to Falkreath. Visit Edward's grave in Falkreath. And there's this body. We just have to take this note and read it. And now investigate Knife Point Ridge. So just here on the outside of Knife Point Ridge is the armor. So just, guys, be careful. I want to point out something. If you haven't started the Boethius Daedric quest, do not enter this cave. It can totally ruin a quest, okay? So do not enter this cave unless you are on the Boethia quest. But anyway, slaughter them all. This guy is right outside. Super easy and simple to get. No! Ah! And the chest piece, Illusion Spells, cost 20% less to cast. Helmet, increase your health by 50 points. Boots, carrying capacity, increased by 40 points. And creative potions are 20% stronger. Just like that, complete the quest. Now you can smith this with the Daedric perk. And this is probably my favorite set that they added. It's just so beautiful. I absolutely love this set. Okay, guys, now back to way earlier in the video when we got the Amber, Dark Seducer, and Golden Saints video when you killed this girl and read her journal we got the ability to smith the madness armor so that's where I'm getting to I had mentioned it and this madness armor is the highest rated armor in the game so yeah guys that's it that's all the new armor sets so I hope you liked it. I got lots coming, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.